Today is uh, September 19th, 2017. I um, want to wish a happy new year to uh, Israel and friends in Israel. And uh, I just want to do a quick uh, garden update. Um, here we go. You can see the okra still growing. Now that's, let's see, I don't know. Seven and a half feet tall, and this is the short okra. Now, my sunflowers have finally, most of them have given up. You can see that now we just have little seeds like crazy. So I've got, so it's almost time to cut down these sunflowers, as you can see. So if I do another update, these will probably be removed because well, the flowers are, are gone and we're left with the seeds. But they're itty bitty sunflower seeds. As you can see, they're itty bitty. So this isn't one that I, I, I know what to do with in terms of uh, using. But anyway, that's life. So it's been a few days. I haven't mowed. The grass is tall. You might be able to see. Now, I haven't picked because it's been it rained last night and the day before, but you can see there's a lot of tomatoes. In fact, I have tomatoes. You see how tall that okra is over there? That must be, I don't know, eight feet plus. It's almost as, it's almost up to the uh, phone line. But I've got tomatoes that need to be picked and I've got tomatoes in the house. The trouble is, is I have too many tomatoes, so it's a little bit overwhelming. I'm kind of slow on picking them, and it's the same with the okra. Here, let's go through here real quick. Let me make this a quick. Now, what I wanted to do, now the Jerusalem artichoke, and I should have done this a couple days earlier because we're starting to lose some of the flowers on the Jerusalem artichoke, but there's still enough so you can get a, a feel for what it looks like. But look at these. There were hundreds of them. Well, a whole bunch. And they were just so, so beautiful here just a few days ago. But after the rain, what is that bug there? Some sort of bug in there. Anyway, not a bee. You see a lot of bees. So you can see a lot of the flowers are starting to go to seed. Here, let me walk through here. But look, that cucumber, it looks like I'm gonna have cucumbers here in a week or two. You see, there's a lot of flowers on this cucumber and this one. So that's a good thing. I'm really excited about that. But look, I have one vine. See, it's dying on me. I don't like that. Lord bless them. So I still got a lot of tomatoes. You can see. And there's a lot of weeding that needs to be done. But I will say putting down the leaves and the sticks has really kept the weeds down. And here, let's sneak through here. Underneath these, these uh, sunflowers. So there's still, as you can see, some of these beans are drying out and going to seed. So I need to pick them and uh, either use the seeds in soups or use them but look how tall that that okra is so tall and it's prolific I have to bend I have to take the plants and bend them way over you see that I bend them over to about I don't know 45 degrees so that I can pick the okra so we still got tomatoes in fact as you can see I haven't been out here and I've got tomatoes on the ground which oh well I need to come and pick them there probably still good I mean they will be good so as you can see I'm just amazed with my okra I have a gallon of it a couple of gallons of okra inside I need to give to my neighbors I'm just not gonna be able to eat it all if you know what I'm saying and normally I do give it to my neighbors I've given I gave some away yesterday and I haven't seen my neighbors on this side for a few days so I haven't given them any so there's tomatoes that need to be picked 
There's a watermelon here. It doesn't seem to be getting any bigger. Maybe I need... This may be... This may be ready to pick. I keep wondering. This will be the one watermelon I'll get, it looks like, from my vines. I mean, I might get another one. But mostly I've actually haven't done well with watermelon. Now the garlic has been fantastic. I've had tons of garlic. And you can see that rose, I mean the uh, Jerusalem artichoke there. This, uh, the, that flower there. So there's still some flowers coming on from this Jerusalem artichoke that was uh, knocked down sideways by the wind, I don't know, a month ago or so. And I've just left it there. It's actually very tall, but it's just all on the ground. But that's what that is there, the Jerusalem artichoke. Now, the garlic, you know, I should, this is the time to be planting new garlic, but truthfully this year I've just not been uh, energized in the garden like I should. So, Lord forgive me, but you can see the basil. Man, I come out and take some basil uh, every day, put it in my tea, and look at that plant. It is just such a blessing. And now the uh, parsley. I read something that it's good for tea, so I've been putting parsley, and then the rosemary finally has come, become uh, substantial. And I've taken a little bit of rosemary, but a little bit seems to go a long way. I'm not really familiar with rosemary so much. Uh, if you guys know how to use it, you can give me a heads up, or maybe I should search it out. So I still have all that garlic that I dried out in there. It's way, I actually I need to take some of it and replant it. And uh, like I say, I just haven't been garden. Uh, but look at these flowers. These came up on their own. And such, I just love them. These uh, marigolds. And I also have in the backyard, I have marigolds like crazy in the garden. So look at that. I love it. So the sunflowers, this, in the next couple of days, I'll be probably cutting my sunflowers and uh, removing them. Okay, that's pretty much it. I wanted to give a quick update. Um, what, the okra. My okra is just uh, unbelievable. The amount of okra I'm getting is just uh, astounding to me. It's a big blessing, but, uh, and the tomatoes are, uh, plenty of tomatoes. In fact, I've got, as I showed you, I have a whole bunch that I need to pick. It'll be gallons by the time I get them picked. Um, like I say, I guess the, uh, what, Yom Kippur? Um, is that tonight or is it tomorrow? Anyway, I know it's right around this time period. So uh, again, uh, Happy New Year to, uh, to Israel. So there we are.